Hi, and welcome back to The Infected. So we are going to continue on making some fragments today. We want to finish up the last of the spike traps, and we also want to go and do some fishing today so that we can get some fish and try to get some biofuel. I was thinking about it after I finished the last episode, and I'm like, okay, even if we get an extractor, we've got nothing gone bad yet. So, yeah, we have no biofuel, so we're going to have to work on that. So here, let's do that. And yeah, I've been running back and forth getting stones and uh, here, let's just grab what we can here. So you could go back and can we get you done over here? No, I'm missing 10, which it should be almost time for that. But here, let's go grab another stone over here. I've been grabbing what I can along the backside here. Except for sticks, obviously we don't need the sticks, but if I've seen any food or any stones lying around, we've been grabbing those. And as you can see, yeah, we're almost out of stones back here. <laughs> That's okay though. Come on. What I'm trying to figure out though is where are their campfires? So we've had an attack. We've had one attack. But I haven't seen a campfire anywhere, so I'm not sure where exactly they are located. We are missing a stone. That's okay. It's only one stone. You know what? It'll be fine. Oh, there you are. We could come across another couple as we're heading back. That actually would help us out a lot. Oh, I do see some food. But I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day today and that it is a nice and bright and sunshiny out there for you. Okay, that's perfect. And... Did you... Yeah, it's clean water. There we go. Okay, so that should allow us to finish the spike trap in the back and we still have that one little one over on top over here. Which I kind of hope is going to stop them from getting in. I'm not sure how he was able to do it, but I'm just figuring because it wasn't close enough that he, like, just got up on the rock and managed to get through. So that's okay. We'll, we'll figure things out. Okay, and you. So this side is done. I'm hoping that he's going to get stuck on that. Here, what I think it was is that he was able to come up the rock. So hopefully with that, that's going to stop him. So that's the last one we need to do. And other than that, it's just a couple of repairs. Which right now, it's not a big deal. So we will worry about that after. Uh, here, you go back in there. You can go into there. That's perfect. And we want to do some fishing. So we're going to need a rod and some bait. So the rod is five iron fragments. Oh, two plastic. We don't have any plastic. We can't even do fishing. Oh, wow. Yeah, we really put ourselves in a nice tight spot, didn't we? Okay, well, when all this fails, we're just going to have to go and harvest the animals and let the meat turn into biofuel. Oh, Spoiled food and then biofuel after that. As well as the pumpkins and the watermelons. Those will take a half hour to fall apart. So, yeah, I say fall apart, but I mean turn to spoiled food. There we go. So we're going to have to do some uh, hunting for this. I really thought we were going to be able to get some fishing done, but... Uh, it, it happens like that. But let's see. What do we have? Uh, it's uh, five, six, seven. I'm going to need another plank. And that's so that we could get another couple of storage boxes going. Because we're going to have to put the food somewhere to decompose. So here, let's do this. Even the chicken. If we go after the chicken, we'll be able to get some chicken meat from it. That'll go as well in a half hour. I just saw another pumpkin off to the, my right. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. We will come back for these things. We have our storage boxes that we can open. Well, take everything out of and just let that go bad. 
Um, we just had a watermelon over here. So what I'm going to do is check my... I've got a little bit of room. Take you. Do I have room for you? Sure. And we'll pick you up. There we go. Just go grab our cart. No, no. We gotta try this again. You. You. There we go. Okay, we're okay now. I hope, anyways. Trying to do that when you have to sneeze. Not the easiest of things to do. <laughs> but I did it. I got it. Whew. There we go. You. There. Okay, so we'll harvest those. We'll get another storage box going here. Storage. Uh, maybe two. Two will do. Uh, oh yeah, that. One, two, three. Yeah, we need one more. So plastic is holding us back, it seems like. Uh, you could take this to spoil. And that. Keep this going so we can get the next box going. We can't even take out the ATV because of how much fuel it has. Uh, we're only going to take that out in case of emergency. Five, one, two, three. Okay, so you were going to be... Spoiled. Food. And so will you. Spoiled food. Okay. So where could we put you? You know what? We'll just put it on top of this to sell. Uh, you. Obviously, we'll get more if we do it with meat instead of the the veggies, but it's okay. You. And you. Okay, so after this batch, we're going to stop with the smelting for now. I need four more and that'll give us for our last spike. So that's perfect. You can go in there. Beautiful. I see you, Froggy. I'm coming for you. Okay, so we picked up everything that we saw over there. I don't see anything here. Yeah, this is going to be fun. What we could do is we could put these on top of the cart and we can go out explore. We can go and, um, what do you call it there? Just, um, put the food in and let it spoil as we're walking along. That should help us out a lot. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, you're almost done. Sorry, buddy. We're gonna have to do this. I'm gonna cook the liver. The liver's gonna give us the... Uh, what do you call it there? Bonus? That. Yeah, it gives you stats. Uh, up, over, go. We still have this that we could take. Hmm. Yeah, no, we're going to leave that for now. Let's put this out. I just want to get a good amount of what do you call it then um biofuel so that i don't have to worry after okay and you and yep okay so you can go into here you could take this Oh, we got something that went bad. 
Wow, okay. That is our first item that has went bad. That is great. I know it doesn't seem like it, but it is. Uh, we'll take two of you, and... Uh, you need to go into shards. Shards and animal fat. Okay, so we get more fat off the piggies. We get a lot of meat. Well, we get a lot of bacon off the piggies. We get um, a good amount of fat. I think we get like six fat from the piggies. So I think that's what we should be trying to hunt when it comes to bandages and things like that. So here, let's just do this. We'll get you all done up. And that is it. Everything is looking great here. Okay, so that is perfect. I need to I need to get a stick. Can I? Yeah, take you. Only because I need to get this cooking so we don't lose that liver. Okay, you're perfect. And you could take the rest of that. Drink that. Grab another batch. Wait for that to cook, and then we're going to take off and go and see if we can find a good chunk of food for us. Wait a minute. We could possibly take a walk to the cave? No, because we're not going to get a lot of scorpions in there. Yeah, if we would get a lot of scorpions, then yeah, maybe that would actually be really good, but... I don't think we're going to get enough. You know what? I'm going to let you just burn out. You. Come with us. Go. And you. Come with us. Now I kind of want to bring a spare box. You know what? We're going to make another box here. I'm not going to bring a spare. We're going to hold on to just the... The one, uh, storage. Um. Spoiled. Food. Yeah, I'd rather not have to worry about sending another box onto the ground. Okay, you could stay here. Um, that's okay. Let's, let's do that. I was going to go and grab another one to take apart. Oh, I could. Okay. So what this is going to give us is just another two. Perfect. You could take that. Our stats are looking decent, but you know what? We'll just top it up. Make sure everything is good before we go. Okay, so everything except that. And this is still good for another hour and a half. So I'm okay with that. There we go. We're good. Let's uh, grab you. Go for a run. And obviously we'll pick up stones along the way because, well, yeah, we're going to need those. So we're going to go up this way because we have been that way already. Let's just go and see what we can find. Now, preferably, I would like the the froggies because, well, that's going to only use one spot and it's going to take a half hour for this meat. And if we do come across an animal, well, that's going to be even better for us because then we could put them in the cart. So if we do see a piggy, we will definitely take it. Still looking out for, what do you call it there? Oh, chicky chicky, the campfires. Sorry, buddy. That looked like it was a stone. <laughs> it gets me every time. There we go. Yeah, chicken meat's going to be just as good. Now, when it comes to these here, this is going to be... Taking up 
a lot more room. So we're going to try not to pick those up too much. If I can get 40 pieces of meat versus 10, I'm going to do it. Yeah, if we were able to get to a cave, then that would actually be really good. Because then what we can do is we can get some coal out of it. But yeah, it, it's, it is a ways off. Like maybe if we start it first thing in the morning, we could do it. And then make it back even. Are you a froggy back there? I think you're a froggy. Thank you very much. So let's see, where are we? Okay, we're in a good area. Just need to find some more froggies. Which are everywhere. Oh, I see cucumber. Just don't know if I should weigh myself down with that. Even that stuff is going to go bad. It's going to take like two hours, but... You know what? We're going to go for it. After we get the food, that is. There you go. A lot of stones out here, that's for sure. <gasps> oh, we got a goat. But the goat's not going to give us that much. I thought I saw something back here. <laughs> no. Okay. Hello, goat. Yeah, I thought I saw one of the infected back there. Okay, froggies. Froggy, piggy. Either one, we should stop picking up stones because we're going to end up weighing ourselves down too much. <laughs> Maybe where all those stones are, we'll be able to find something. It's worth a look-see, right? So once we have a good chunk of biofuel, what we'll do is we'll try to get the extractors up and running. So it's going to take a, I, th I want to say, oh yeah, our sun resistance and there's a bear. Uh, I want to say it's going to take maybe a couple of days to get the extractors out. Because I want to put one in each cave. Now I could put one here, one here, one here. Because those are still three different caves. I could do that. We'll have to figure that out. Okay, the bear's walking away from us. We're going to have to make some potato paste, all that fun stuff. So for potato paste, we're just going to need some clay because we do have a couple of potatoes. Okay, I'm going to go and grab this. If we could find some more potatoes, that would be awesome. We should probably invest in some cooling clothes. Oh, were you a froggy? You were a froggy. There we go. Yeah, we should, we're going to have to make ourselves some cooling clothes too. Perfect. I'm going to go grab that. So what else do we have to do? We wanted to make that hat, but we couldn't, right? That um, straw hat. No, because we need the cloth and we can't make cloth right now. That's okay. That's fine. I'm going to go and find some more froggies. That's not a froggy. Okay, frogs, chickens, either one I I'm good with. Now, nah, just waiting for my sun resistance to get back up. Oh, where 
are we? <laughs> oh, okay. I know where we are. And while we're out, we need to find some more potatoes, especially with the, the rate that this is going to go. So we're going to have to put some plant beds down for now before we get the greenhouse going. I don't want to put too many out because I know I'm going to have to move them eventually. I do want the greenhouse, even though we are going to be in permanent summer. Uh, it's just to have it so that it'll get watered by the... Oh, we'll take you. Um, get watered by the water house. So it'll constantly keep it watered. So we'll get the food faster that way. Because leaving it out, you only get watered once a day unless you go and water it yourself. And it grows faster if you water it at least twice a day. And then we're going to have our buddy. So, yeah. And plus, I like the greenhouse. It looks so pretty. Makes everything look nice and neat. I have no clue where I am, though, guys. Okay, so we do have a bear off in that direction. So we'll try to stay away from him as best we can. Weird that we're not seeing more pumpkins. Yeah, anyways. Okay, Froggy. Ooh, reverse move. Nice. They tried to get away from us. It didn't work. I'm going to keep going down the road a little bit more. Now, if you guys haven't been to that new cave, go check it out. It is really nice. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah, it's a really nice cave. I would bring you guys there right now, but I don't have my helmet light. And I don't think a torch will do it justice. Um. Oh, froggy. Yeah, a torch definitely will not do it justice. It is a really nice looking cave. So there's two entrances in and... Oh, you're over that way. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't see him, but I see a pumpkin up in the back. Oh, I see you. It's a rooster. Gotta be careful because there's a town up here. Thank you, buddy. I'm gonna go and grab that. Why not? Oh, I see, a I see another one. I see you. You come with me. Okay, let's get back down because we don't want to alert these guys. So let's get you. Tucked into there. And you. We'll get the smaller pieces of meat in here. Well, that's not so bad so far. Yeah, we'll even put that in so we don't weigh ourselves down too much. So that should give us a good chunk of biofuel, at least for one extractor. If we can get copper going, then that's going to be... Very helpful. And we still have to get ourselves two cans of oil. <laughs> oh, I saw that. Ah, you're coming with me. Yeah, if we can get ourselves two cans of oil, that's going to be great. Then we're going to be able to get our oil extractor up and running. So that'll be the first thing that we're going to do is the oil extractor. Because we're going to kind of need the oil. And then we'll work off of that. Okay, you. Go here. Oh, I saw a pumpkin. Oh, I did. Okay. Just going to get ourselves in the shade as much as possible. Okay, so that's done. 
Yeah. We're not going to have any room here. Okay, let's make a little bit of room for you. Uh, no. Okay, there we go. So whereabouts are we? Yeah, we're almost at this cave here. If we go over, we could go grab a little bit of cold to come back with. That way we won't have to worry about constantly filling it up. It should last a little bit longer. So that's going to help us out. I'm just going to have to be careful of the scorpions in there though. Now the scorpions will give us a bleed most of the time. Let's see, where's our trailer even? Our trailer's down a little bit more. There you are. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, we're trying not to get any bleeds until we get a good chunk of bandages for ourselves. I know, I know. We're going to go into the cave and it's going to be all good for you. I know, I know, I know, I know. It, it, it's hot. It's hot out. You. Have the corn. I did see the bird on the ground. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, the cave opening is there. Let's go for it. Okay, now we should be okay in here. So we're not going to grab any of that. We're just looking for coal right now. So, and if we could grab mushrooms, that could possibly help us too. Not going to go too crazy on it. I know it's probably a little dark in here. I do apologize, guys. Is that it for coal? Seriously? No, we got more here. Okay. Got that. Uh, we're going to have to watch our weight, so we'll have to go and put some inside our cart. Now, I'm thinking on our way back, we should just grab any animal that we see. Perfect. Oh, yes, you. Let's uh, put you in here. Oh, yeah. Um, hmm. we're running out of room. Do we have. Okay, a few more mushrooms. Oh, oh there we go. You. Does that give me like 10 mushrooms? You know what? That's good enough for now. And we've got uh, three, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's like two batches, so that should be okay. And it is starting to get a little dark out here. Take you. Thank you very much. Yeah, we've got lots of stuff that we could pick up over there, but as you can see, the weight is not working for us. Um, let's see, the weight of this is 0.5. That's 1.2. This is 1.75. <laughs> and that's 1. So we take those out. We'll put in stone. Take a couple of pieces of meat and put in stone. Meat weighs a lot. <laughs> oh, it's raining again. Okay. Where is... Where's the chicken? Buddy? 
Oh, Mr. Rooster. You're not supposed to go through trees. Thank you. Where is... There it is. Okay, so I think we're doing good on food to spoil right now. So we're going to start heading back to base. Ah, uh, it's 5 p.m. Yeah, okay. Definitely time to start heading back. Oh, I see you. Perfect. So yeah, if we can grab an animal. Oh, we got to be careful of our spear. It's the only one we have. We left the other one behind. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> We're going to be careful heading back. If we come across that bear, it could be bad news for us. Because we will not be able to outrun the bear. Because eventually our stamina will give up on us. So here, let's uh, drink up. Oh, I heard that. That we'd have to chase, though. But you know what? I think it's okay if we have to chase them. Let's do it! Come here! No! Don't do this to me! Come back! I already got you once! Come on! My stamina is about to give up! Okay. We'll just... Duck like this. He ain't gonna move until we get back up again. Go. Come on, buddy. I really need to bring some food home. Yes! Okay, we're gonna pick you up. We're gonna put you on the road. We're gonna go and grab our cart. Okay, that was good. Come on. And uh, you know what? That's close enough to the road for me. Let's just go grab our cart and come pick them up. Get ourselves back home. At least that's going to be a little extra meat that we could let spoil and a couple of pieces of fat. Because we didn't come across any piggies. Which is kind of sad, but you know what? It's going to happen. That's a lot of bacon that we could have just let spoil. Okay, buddy. Um... Oh, you've got a friend down the road. Wasn't expecting you to be upside down like that, but that's okay. Now, how far do we have to go? We really went out quite far, didn't we? You know what? That's quite okay. We had to go out and do some exploring. Now, we're going to watch out because we know there's a bear out somewhere. And we don't want to mess with him. Just not sure where he's going to be right now. Or if he despawned. It's possible he's despawned and has gone somewhere else. Okay, we've got that deer. We've got a lot of deer, that's for sure. We should start seeing some spoiled food soon, so that's going to be an added bonus. We will start turning that into biofuel. We need four biofuel to fill up one extractor. So as long as I have 12, we're going to be good. But we're going to try to get at least two full batches going. Uh, okay, we're at the crossroads here. Still going to still going to listen out for chickens. We can still take some chickens in and some froggies. We've got a little extra room for that. Come on, stamina, just a little bit. Run. Yeah, you can hear the birds up in the background. <laughs> you can hear the thunder really nicely. I thought I just heard a chicken. Could be wrong. I did, it was up this way. <laughs> I 
There you are. Let's do it. Oh, no fair, buddy. Come back. Come back! There we go. Beautiful. And that would put us over. Okay, so the feathers weigh quite a bit. We could eat this right now. And we're going to go and try to sort out our bag just a little bit. Yeah, because these weigh 1.2 as well. So if we could take one of those out. And then put four of those in. Do the same thing. Then that is giving us some extra room for inventory. Here, let's go. Now we're at 38. That's not bad. That's 0.5, so those weigh next to nothing. That's 0.2. That weighs next to nothing. <laughs> yeah, let's get that taken care of. And this weighs a lot, so... um. Can't take any more food out, can we? Oh, we can. Oh, we could take that out like that. Oh, that's beautiful. So here, you could take that back. And that for sure. And we'll just fill you up with these. So the only thing this hurts is we don't have enough room to put anything. Um, yeah, here, let's 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 do that. So that gives us three spaces to work with. Just in case. Oh, we gotta watch out for that sun too. Our sun resistance going down. No. But yeah, I think when we get back, um, we're gonna look at the cooling clothes because that should only consist of, I think, plant fiber and bark chips. Oh, 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 oh! I made a wrong turn somewhere. Alright, we'll go this way. I'm not familiar with the roads over here. <laughs> not yet, anyways. I know, buddy. I know. So yeah, I really think it's uh, plant fiber and bark chips, which we do have enough of, so we should be able to get that together. We are in July, so we want to try to keep him cool. And uh, we're also going to have to look at... Putting our other spear on when we decide to go out again. So the last time we came through, the bear was up in this little area here. So let's see. Not saying he's going to be here though. But we got to keep... Oh, he is here still. There he is. Okay, we're going to stay away from him. <laughs> I wasn't sure if he was going to despawn or not, and guess what? He didn't. So let's just get to the road and get back to base. I know, buddy. I know. Um, yes. About that, uh, I think our water's all back at base. Thank you, buddy. Oh, I've got to go that way. I don't want to get stuck down here. Oh, sheepy. Yeah, we're good. We should be able to get home before we run out of water. I kind of hope anyways. If not, I'll just grab the watermelon in the back and that should help us. Yeah, we're just down the hill. We've got five points left. Oh dear. Four. Oh boy. Yeah, we, we might be cutting it really close at this point. Come on, guys. You could do it. Three. I know, I know, I know. We're not going to be able to make it. <laughs> and you're going to hit one. Yeah, there's the one. Okay. Sorry, I have no choice. We gotta take a little bit of water. 
Because as soon as you hit zero, then your stamina depletes to zero and it doesn't come back until you get some water. And we don't want to have to deal with that. So yeah, this is how it's going to be. But that's okay. We're fine with that. We should be just at the bottom of this hill. And then we've got to let all this start turning bad. And then we're going to go and do some smelting after that. Because yes, we need... That's not going to do it. Sorry, I tried to smack you with my hammer. Um, we're going to start smelting because we have to get to... Uh... I thought that was a melon there for a minute. Um, we have to get an extractor going. We really need to get an extractor going. Wait, did we unlock an extractor yet? <laughs> I think we did, right? Butchers? Extractor, yeah, we did. The rack. We didn't open the oil because we need everything else to go with it. Okay. We're going to get that done. So cooling clothes. I'm going to go with that and that. And I think it's made on you. Um, That's cargo pants. No, it needs cloth as well. Oh, we don't have cloth. Okay, well, you know what? We're in trouble, guys. We are in trouble. You know what? I'm okay with that. We will figure this out. And we need some more storage. That's okay. You can come with me. I'm going to let you all spoil. Things should start spoiling soon. I'll remove all of that and we'll move all of you. Oh, and we'll take you up. So we've got uh, three minutes left on some of this. So yeah, it's going to start spoiling. That's perfect. Okay, well, you know what, guys? We are in a tough predicament, but we will survive. And on that note, I wish you all a good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.